Is that a flying swineub? Is that actually a flying swineub right now? I love this. I love this so much. Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and welcome to episode number two of my Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we started this whole adventure, got our starter Pokemon, and had a terrible, terrible loss to our rival Hop. And today, we're hopefully gonna get revenge on him, but more important than that, we're gonna visit the wild area. I can't wait to see how crazy that's gonna be randomized. So let's go over here. I see a bunch of people standing around, so something big must be going on. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why won't you endorse them? Well, you see, Professor, Hop and Poketips only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah. You're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. In that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. Well, I guess this is it. We wanted that rematch against Hop, and we're getting it right in the beginning of the episode, and look at this battlefield right here. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee we've got what it takes. Of course, Hop. Let's do it. Oh, and even Professor Magnolia is coming out to see this battle. Alright, let's give them a battle worth watching. Oop, time for his legend to begin? I don't think so. I think it's time for me to end this legend over here. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop, and he always looks so excited getting into the battles. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Not Mr. Fish! Not Mr. Fish! Get that thing out of here! Dracovish is one of the strongest Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Hop is bringing out the big guns already. Alright, what do we have here again? We have Willow. Willow should be able to handle a Dracovish. I really hope it doesn't have Fishiest Rend, too. I don't know where Hop gets all these strong Pokemon. All I'm saying, Adrenaline Orb. Oh, that's cool. That's not even in Sword and Shield, technically. Dragon Breath. Alright, we can manage with that. Don't paralyze us, though. Wow, that's crazy. That's really crazy. Hop has all the luck, and I think he has three Pokemon, too. So even when we get through this one, he still has more stuff. And when the first Pokemon he sends out is Dracovish, that's terrifying enough. Oh, great. So we got unlucky. We got the Paralysis here. But it's looking like Branch Poke will do enough over time to take it out. We just need to hope we don't get the Parahax. Please don't be fully paralyzed. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes, the Orenberry is going to help heal me up. So we'll definitely be able to get through this Dracovish, assuming we don't get super unlucky. We just got to keep poking him with that branch. All right, now it all comes down to this branch poke. Can we get it off? I'm so glad this Dracovish doesn't have its... Ugh. Like I was trying to say, I'm so glad it seems like this Dracovish doesn't have Fishius Rends. The oh my gosh, we're going to get paralyzed again? Willow, just do it. Just do it! Poke him with your branch, it's not that hard. 10 HP, please. Thank you. Ugh, this is just Hop's first Pokemon. He has two more, and it was already tough enough. Wow. Now you might notice the EXP is a little bit lower. I used the mod to reduce the amount of EXP so we don't become super overleveled. Because you can see how low Hop's Pokemon are. Level 5 Conkeldur versus my level, what, 10 Willow? Still, we definitely can't underestimate Hop because he'll just come out with something crazy, or some crazy move and kill us. I'm hoping he's going for a fighting move right here. Oh wait, no, he wouldn't go for a fighting move. Yeah, he was gonna go for Dunk Shot. Because he was thinking I still had Willow in. Hmm. Alright, let's see how much Peck does. It should be super effective, we have quite a few levels on him. But, it's a bulky Pokemon. Yeah, it's gonna live. Well, look at you. Seems like you really learned your tight matchups. <laughs> yes, missing the gunk shot. That's what we need right there. Let's peck and get this out of here, and then Hop will be on his final Pokemon. Better not be another Dracovish. Oh, and he comes out with the Hydreigon. Wow, his team is stacked. He is a really good team. Do I even want to switch? No, I don't think I do. I'm worried about the damage output here. I don't think that Peck is going to do too much damage. And I could try boosting up with my claw move, but I feel like it's going to be too late by the time I start doing that. Yeah. Yeah, not liking this. How much is Slam going to do to me? Oh, okay, that's not bad yet. And we have the Orenberry. These Orenberries are really saving me in this battle. 
Now, part of me actually wants to switch back out into Willow. Hope that he goes for Slam again and go for a Leech Seed, but I think that's way too much. I think if we just keep going for Peck and getting that damage output out there, we should be just fine. Oh, five hit KO. Fake Tears. Aw, oh, don't cry. Don't cry, it's gonna be okay. Okay, Peck number three. Yeah, definitely a five hit KO. He's gonna go for Slam again. But Buckbeak can tank it. So no need to swap out. We're not going to do anything crazy. Peck one more time. That'll put him in the red zone. Ooh, double edge. I don't know where that came from. Oh my gosh! One HP! One HP! Alright, let's just go for Peck and finish this. Good, he doesn't have a potion or anything. Wow! Wow, I don't know where that double edge came from. I always think he was going for slam and we would be totally safe, but I guess not. We always have to be worried in these types of situations. But good job, guys. Wow, that was a close battle. That was very, very close. Hop is always scary. And his Pokemon were so much lower level than mine, imagine if they were like the same level as mine. We would have ran into some serious trouble. This was you getting back at me for last time, wasn't it? Yes, that's exactly what it was. Pokétips, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling that excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokéball out, things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. Pokétips, would you look at this? They're wishing stars! Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. What a friendly guy. Honestly, if it was me picking up those wishing stars, I would not give Hop any. I'm just being honest here. Now, can we just take a moment to appreciate all the detail in Professor Magnolia's house? I love the apples sitting over here, the refrigerator, the whole smart fridge. I wonder if you could, like, hack it to play a Pokemon game on there. But my favorite thing in the whole entire house here is actually this little Zubat Easter egg on the wall. This is Sonya's room, if you can't tell, so I guess Sonya really likes her Zubats. Anyway, let's get out of this house and start going ahead to the wild area, but before we go out there, there's a few things I want to check out around here. For, so first things first, there's this TM back here. What is this? TM57 payback might be useful in the future, I don't know. Oh, there's Hop again. I guess we can't check everything out yet. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. <laughs> Try it out, and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Poketips. Well, I think you're gonna win that challenge, because I can't catch anything else out here right now, Hop. I'm playing a Nuzlocke challenge. But speaking of not being able to catch anything else, uh, Whoa! Look at that Sil Valley walking around in the water over there, and Hitmontop too? Oh, I wish I could go over there and get that thing. What I wanted to do originally was just come over here and, like, fish in the water and see what we could find. None of this is stuff that we could catch. But I just want to have some fun with it and see what what weird stuff we're gonna fish what weird stuff we're gonna fish up out of the water. I couldn't speak properly there. So what is it gonna be? And what are you? Oh wow, a Caparaja coming out of the ocean. Imagine you were just casually fishing and one day you stuck your rod in the water and picked up an elephant. <laughs> Now this is what I was looking for, the Great Ball over here. Because I know we're going to be seeing quite a few Pokemon once we get to the wild area, so I'm going to need all the Pokeballs that I can get. So now let's get out of here, let's get off of Route 2, and let's start heading back to the station to meet up with Hop. Okay, and now we just have a ray. Oh, get away from me! Wow, we can actually outrun this thing? It's kind of slow. But now we have a random Hydreigon over here. We just saw Hop use a Hydreigon, and there we go, now there's one on the route. So out with it, Poketips. How many did you catch? Well, zero. I caught a really special one. And you got not one? What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. And he just gives me TM40 Swift? Huh? That's a transition. You haven't caught any Pokemon. Here's a TM. All right, time to take the train. Oh, we've got the moms coming to say goodbye. What are you doing here, mum? Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Oh, a 
that's nice, they're giving us the camping gear. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use Pokemon Camp in this Nuzlocke run because some of the bonuses and stuff that we get out of Pokemon Camp are ridiculous, like being able to dodge attacks, surviving at one hit. I feel like that gives us such a huge unfair advantage over the other trainers that I'm not going to be using Pokemon Camp at all. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Are those the Wooloo back there stopping the train? That's so funny, your big fast train gets stopped by a bunch of sheep. What's there to be so sorry about? This is brilliant! Brilliant? Why is it brilliant? This Wild Area is massive! There are loads of Pokémon to battle here! You get it, don't you, Pokétips? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! Oh, trust me, Hop, I agree with you! I can't wait to explore the Wild Area! But first things first... Forced? I can't speak today. First things first, we have to go ahead and talk to these people over here. If we played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, these guys will actually give us a free Pokemon. Usually it's Pikachu, usually it's Eevee, but obviously since this is a randomizer, it's not going to be Pikachu or Eevee. Now, I can only talk to one of them and get Pokemon from one of them, and I think I'm going to talk to the guy since I played Let's Go Eevee for my Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke. This is kind of like sending a Pokemon from my Let's Go Eevee version over on into my Sword and Shield randomizer. So let's see, what are you going to give me? You received an Eevee, but it's not going to be an Eevee. It is a... Appleton! I've actually never used one of these things before. That's really cool. Appleton, Dragon and Grass type. So let's give a nice warm welcome to Hermione the Appleton. Now this is actually really interesting. I think this is going to be a Gigantamax Appleton. Normally the Pokemon, the Pikachu and Eevee these guys give you, they're the special Gigantamax Pokemon, so maybe we'll be able to Gigantamax this Pokemon later on. That's actually really cool. The moveset's not too great, its best attack is Stomp, but if we could hang on to Hermione for a while, I think this is actually going to work out pretty well for us. Now let's get on to the main event, the Wild Area. Now the Wild Area can be pretty confusing for Nuzlocke runs because normally you can only catch one Pokemon per area. But if you take a look at the Wild Area, they're actually all named different things. So technically, we can get an encounter in every zone of the Wild Area. Now what I'm going to do to make this not too broken and too ridiculous right now is I'm only going to run straight, basically. I'm going to try to run straight. And I'm only going to let myself get encounters from three areas right now now. I think the way I'm going to do it is every like two gym badges or so I'll be able to come back to the wild area and get maybe three new Pokemon so that way I don't just go here once catch 20 Pokemon and then just like never come back to the wild area again. I think that's going to be the most fun for me. Also, if I happen to run into something right now that's too high leveled for me to catch, like normally there's an onyx as soon as you get into the wild area, if I run into something that's too high leveled for me to catch, obviously that's not going to count as my encounter because there's no way I could catch it anyway. So with that being said, let's enter the wild area and let's have some fun. And I want to see what that onyx turns into. It is a... A thing that I'm very glad is not my encounter. So let's go over here and see- Oh, no way! No, no, no! We just got a Soul Galio as our encounter! No, we just did not! What? What? I can't believe this right now. I- actually can't believe this right now that is so cool wow yes 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 let's do it let's catch this thing and let's hope that it doesn't kill my team wow that is an encounter I'm gonna have to look at the footage afterward and make sure nothing else popped up because I- Noble Roar. I don't even know what that move is, but I can't believe that I just got a legendary encounter right now. Nothing else popped up before this, right? I'm not going crazy. Okay, I did a check. Nothing else popped up. This is it. This is legit. This is our encounter. Let's do it. Let's go for some more power trips. It looks like it's not doing that much damage to me. I am so glad I picked up that Great Ball because this thing 
I'm not sure what the catch rate is going to be in this game. I think in Sun and Moon version, it's not terribly hard to catch, but I don't know what the catch rate is going to be like in Sword and Shield. Oh, yes, I gotta pay attention to that. It's hailing. It is hailing, so we might fail this capture, actually, if we don't start throwing some balls at it. So, I'm gonna actually heal up Buckbeak right now. I don't wanna play any games. I don't wanna have any chance of losing this guy. And let's see, it's gonna go for Metal Claw again. Metal Claw does a little bit more than I would like it to, to Buckbeak. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it. It's probably gonna break out. I'm gonna save my Great Ball for when it gets down to a little bit lower health. Oh, we're getting some shakes. So, is the catch rate really good in this game? Oh, we almost had it. Three shakes. And no, 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 no. No, 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 no! 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 It just teleported away! No! <laughs> Why does this happen to me? We got a legendary encounter. And then it legit just... Dips, teleports, bye-bye, it's out of there. We had three shakes. If I threw the Great Ball, we might have actually captured it there. I just had no idea that thing would no teleport. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's terrible. We better get another legendary encounter in the wild area. I'm so mad right now. We have the blue Growlithe over there. We have Charmeleon. We have Stone Jorner. What's, what's the... Of the random grass encounters. I'm so mad I can't speak, but that doesn't change anything because I normally can't speak anyway. Weavile. Oh, how I would have loved a Weavile. Weavile is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Wow. Wow. All right. You know what? Let's just keep going. We got to run away from this Weavile. Hopefully it's not hailing in the next area. Wow. That's so upsetting. That is so, so, so upsetting. All right. So... We're gonna keep going on. I'm gonna heal up my guy. I'm gonna heal up Buckbeak a little bit. I can't believe it. I thought, if anything, the hail would knock out the Pokemon. But no, it just knows teleport. Why wouldn't it know teleport? And I don't see many of it spawning at all over here. Must have been like a rarer encounter. Anyway, let's keep going over here. Is this still the same zone? I think so, because we still have the same spawns over here. Yeah, there's another Soul Galio. Look at that thing walking around. Wow. Wow, it looks so cool in the wild area. I love this. The randomized wild area. There's another one. There's another one. DJ Khaled. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not going to mess around with the max raid battles. Is this a new one? Yes, East Lake Whack Axwell. This was the first thing I saw pop up. We got a Colossal over here. Let's go ahead and catch this bad boy. Hopefully, unless this thing knows teleport too, or explosion or self-destruct. It's also level 13, which is not fun. It's a rock type, which means I got to swap out. Wow. Ugh, let's hope Ron can weaken this thing for me. Smackdown. Oh, yeah, we would not like that. Even Ron. Ron resists that, and Ron's still taking a decent amount of damage from this Colossal. Now, we're going to try going for the Mud Slap over here. It is going to be very super effective against this thing, but I think it'll be okay. I don't think this is going to do a lot of damage to it. On the other hand, it's doing way too much to me. Oh, yes, the Ornberry coming in clutch. I always forget <laughs> I give my Pokemon these Ornberries, and I always get surprised when it actually activates in battle. Now, how much is Mudslap doing? Not a lot of damage, but we are lowering its accuracy, and it's going to try to lower our accuracy right back. Good, but Ron doesn't care. Let's go for another Mud Slap, and we could definitely get at least one more in there. I'm really loving Mud Slap right now, because it's doing a lot of damage, and it's also making it harder for this thing to hit us. But I guess it doesn't care. It's going to keep going for Smackdown. It's going to still do a lot of damage to us. The last thing I want to happen right now is for us to lose a Pokemon. We already failed one encounter, so you know what? I'm just going to use my Great Ball here. Come on. Let us get this... Nope. I guess not. Guess it's not happening. Now, its health is getting kind of low, so I'm going to do a little bit more damage to it with Astonish. But before we do that, we're going to use a Potion, because we're in that terrifyingly low health range where it might be able to kill us. Okay, Astonish. Even Astonish isn't really doing that much damage. 
uh, you can see how careful I am with these encounters because I've been through so many Nuzlocks before. I've lost so many Pokemon. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to lose more Pokemon just by knocking it out. All right, well, let's try a Pokeball here. Never going to catch the thing if we don't try Pokeballs. And also, I know there's something in Sword and Shield where if a Pokemon is higher level than your Pokemon that you have out, it actually becomes harder to capture that Pokemon. So we are really struggling with this Colossal right now. We really are. I'm going to need to get this thing absolutely in the red zone if I want to have any chance of actually capturing it. There we go, we got him in the red, but we're getting burned by Flame Body. And I've used my three items, my three potions on Ron to heal him up. So this is not looking good for us at all. Uh, let's bring out Hermione. At least the nice thing is it's raining, so if it tries going for a fire move, it's going to do a lot less damage than it normally would. And I'm assuming if we keep throwing these balls at it, eventually it's got to get in one, right? Okay, that's two. Three, three, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! I was very afraid this thing was either going to kill one of my Pokemon or just not get captured. But there we go. There we go. We got him. All right, Colossal is going to be named Barty after Barty Crouch Jr. from the Harry Potter series. And now we absolutely need to get out of here and heal up. Is that a flying Swinub? Is that actually a flying swine up right now? I love this. I love this so much. All right, let's go heal. <laughs> if you thought that flying swine up was crazy, take a look at this flying crustal. That's pretty epic. All right, let's keep going. We have one more encounter over here in the wild area. And the last Pokemon we'll go for will either be something from the Watchtower Ruins or the West Lake, whichever one pops up first. Hopefully it's another legendary Pokemon because I would absolutely love to have a second chance at catching a legendary after failing that Soul Galio. But, you know, you can't have everything. More of these- whoop, whoop, whoop! There's another Flying Silvalli. Silvallis are up to all the weird stuff today. Before we saw one on the water- oh wait, 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 wait. West Lake, two Pokemon popped up at the same time. I gotta check and see which one that was. Alright, so I look back at the footage and it looks like both Dreepy and Doughblade popped up at the same time. I'm gonna go for the Blade over here instead of Dree- Huh? Alright, I guess Drampa's getting in the way. Well, we're not catching Drampa because I already said Doughblade's my encounter. But I'm gonna go for the Doughblade instead of the Dreepy. And the whole reason I'm doing that, as much as I would love to catch Dreepy, and I know you guys would probably like to see Dreepy as well, Dreepy doesn't get any good moves, and we already have a Dragon-type on the team. So Dreepy doesn't get any good moves until it evolves anyway, so I might as well just go for this, which I'm pretty sure I could use immediately. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be decent already. Oh good, it's only level 8, so we should have no problem weakening this thing and capturing it. Come on, be a first throw, first catch Pokemon. This is what we need right now. Yep, keep going. There we go, and we got him, nice. And I think a very fitting name for this Doughblade is Gryffindor after the Sword of Godric Gryffindor. The one they used to like defeat that whole Basilisk in Harry Potter. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's see, what else do we have over here? A Pelipper, we obviously have the Drampa, we have Barrascuta over there. I think I heard a Meowstic? Ooh, is that a Dartrix walking around too? Yeah, look at that! I would have loved to have a Dartrix, but whatever. Doughblade's very cool as well. Oh, we've got Litten too! All the starter Pokémon over here that we just didn't get lucky enough to encounter! Let's check him out. Litten! So at this point, we've actually seen the whole Litten family, and it's only been two episodes in. That's pretty funny. Well, I think it's enough teasing myself with Pokemon that I can't catch. Let's get out of this wild area as much as I could stay in this, like, all day long. Oh my god, speaking of Litten and the Litten family, there's Incineroar, just... I don't know where he's walking. But he's do- Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I could stay in the randomized wild area forever, and I'm not even joking. This is so much fun. But again, that's one of the big reasons why I want to split the wild area up into a few different episodes so we can always come back here and have more fun with it, because there's just so many crazy Pokemon roaming in the wild area right now. But I'm so mad about that Soul Galio. I really, really am. Anyway, we finally made our way to Motostoke. And I know there's actually one more encounter we could get in Motostoke. I'm not sure if there's a cutscene that we have to go through before we could get to the, uh, to the fishing area. Is that Crystal Onyx just chilling there? 
All right, very cool. So first things first in Moto Stoke, I guess we're gonna go to the left because Sonia's calling me over, but I wanted to go there anyway to heal up. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. You should pop in a Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of, if you're a real trainer and all. Ooh, perfect. They have some different Pokeballs here. So I think I'm gonna buy like three net balls and three nest balls just in case we run into a situation where they'll be pretty useful. And of course, we absolutely need to heal up too. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. That's a nice title. Do you remember what your goal in Moto Stoke is? Uh, same, Poketips, same. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Moto Stoke Stadium, okay? There's that Crystal Onyx again. That looks so cool. See that lift over there to get to the stadium, Kay? Well, laters, I'm gonna swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, Kay. Well, my friends, we're gonna save signing up for the gym challenge and doing the rest of the fun stuff in Moto Stoke for the next episode. We did a lot this episode. We caught all those Pokemon, but we failed the Soul Galio. I'm gonna be upset about that forever. You know what? Give this video a thumbs up to make me feel a little bit better about losing that Soul Galio. My friends, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time in episode three.